call yeah, it's condition. A, we were talking about it earlier that, that he said, you know, he said, I'm hungrier now than I was before I was the champion. Stop. Well, he's had a little taste of it, you know. And, Time in, let's go. And there's money to be made. Yeah. It's the most wonderful feeling in the world when you know you're in good shape. Not when your trainer say you're in good shape, but you know. By the same token, you know if you've left something in the gym, George. And, and that's the most that's frightening the feeling in the world. That's when you try to get it over quick. <laughs> <laughs> Also on the gas early here. Colazzo's corner is doing a good job of pacing him. They make him punch, they make him get in there and throw hard shots, then they move him around to box a little bit, mixing it up. You're gonna, it's gonna go to distance. Well, Zhu was able to get on him, but that was only, and stop him, but that was in 10 rounds, and that was after he'd beaten really badly on him all night. But the, the distance with Chavez, the distance with De La Hoya, Miguel Angel Gonzalez is a tough, yeah. tough foe. It's not like he's going to roll over and let somebody hit him, uh, stop him just because they hit him with five shots. <laughs> Piazza is just very sharp. Three punches again, backing Gonzalez into the ropes. Gonzalez is thinking, what can I do? He's thinking, really, what can I do? Maybe I should. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, I tried that. Yeah. <laughs> Move my head a little bit. Only let that right hand just go. Turn softball by himself, Gonzalez. Back in position now. And the funny thing about it, George, is that Gonzalez does some good work in every round. You know, that he does have that moment or two when it looks like he's turning it around. But then Piazzo comes back big time. Holding and hitting. Warning from John O'Brien. This is the first round I think Gonzalez actually now has a shot at winning. Once he takes a break, oh, and step back, <laughs> fire follows him. Time! Close round, closest round of the fight. Well, there is a look at Shemek Salada, and we will see him a little bit later. Not a household word, perhaps, here in the United States, but in Poland, everybody knows him. Not only as a fighter, an athlete, but also as a, a television personality and a radio personality. He will be in action a little bit later on tonight. He's the George Foreman of Poland. Whoa, Let he must you. eat a lot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> tell you, we saw when George walked in here tonight how these fans reacted to him, and that's the way it is for Salida in Poland. He can't walk down the street. Hey, give me one more round, baby, okay? Huh? Come on, one more round? Okay. One more round? Let's go. Come on, come on one more round. Now well, they're talking one more round in the corner. Uh, no. They're going to throw the towel in. That's going to be towel. it. Wise, wise. Just don't get their man hurt. When a fighter gives all he has, what else can you do but rescue him from the corner? He will never quit himself. And the ironic thing is, is that Gonzalez just had his best round of the fight. That's true. But maybe they, he felt that he gave it his all that one last round to see if he could do it, and he couldn't, so that was it. Now I like it when the corner step up. The fighter, they'll go until they just drop. Yeah, and the guy that threw the towel is a guy who's been with him. It's his cousin. He's been with him literally his whole life, and uh, I'm sure he's looking out for his guy, you know, and uh, right thing to do, and I, it was a lopsided fight that I don't think Gonzalez honestly had a prayer of winning. I have to say I was very impressed with uh, Luis Collazo. The kid out of Brooklyn. 
I got to think this is a guy who people are just not going to want to fight. Tough guy to fight. All right, now watch the lower corner. You see the corner, there's the towel. They were asking Gonzalez, we'll give you one round, we'll give you one round. And then his trainer said, forget about one round. We're gonna, we're gonna end it right now. That's beautiful. You follow a guy for years, you watch his career, watch him grow into a mature fighter, fight for the title. Everything has happened but an injury, so what, why? When he's doing his best. Absolutely, and he was a champion and uh, always around the championship. This was his fifth shot. And he comes up empty, and uh, maybe it is time to just say uh, it's been a heck of a career. He did, he did hold the world championship at, uh, at 135 as a lightweight. But uh, he never was able to do it at 140 and at 147. So right now, let's go up to Jimmy Lennon. We'll make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one second in round number eight. Our referee in charge, John O'Brien, stops the contest upon suggestion of the corner. He's the winner by way of technical knockout and still the WBA welterweight champ.